occasionally something that was considered suicide science turns out to be correct. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna give you six examples, or maybe six? more. I can give you a few more, probably. What, you're, you want more, or is that too few? I can do six. Okay. Germs. Uh-huh. There's no such thing as germs. Did you know that there were doctors? I'm saying this is what people would say. There were doctors who would literally go from delivering a baby to an autopsy without washing their hands to prove to all those idiot doctors who believe in germs and washing hands. I'm like, okay. Like, germs were pseudoscience at one point. What gets better? Relativity was pseudoscience at one point. Einstein was insulted repeatedly as a crackpot, as a pseudoscientist. In Germany, you know what they said to him? Oh, that's Jewish science. Mm, in, right. UK, in the UK, you know what they said? Oh, that's German science. Remember, right. there's World War One, so yeah. the UK, they hated right. Germans. Right. So in, in to, the, to the British, Einstein was German, and to the Germans, you but my, my point, continental drift, continental drift. Oh, yeah. Um, here's another one. Did you know that Ludwig von Boltzmann committed suicide because he was so deeply insulted by academia and the scientific community, they ruined his career. Because you know why? He dared to say that atoms are real and that atoms exist. And he was driven to suicide. So there's atoms, germs, relativity, continental drift, meteors, meteors, another great example. Did you know that for a long time people left? Oh, meteors. Mm. Rocks don't fall from the sky. Those are just, you know, crazy people telling you stories. What does all this sound like to you? Doesn't it sound like a lot like UFOs? People didn't believe that at one point. Meteors for centuries. Scientists used to laugh at meteors. That's nonsense.